Hi Aquarius, welcome to your March 2017 General Tarot reading from Island Girl Tarot. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, and subscribe. I hope everybody is surviving the eclipses. Happy March, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, you can reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl with two L's on the end of girl2008 at gmail.com. Join me on Saturday mornings at 10.30 Central Standard Time on my Island Girl Tarot Facebook page. And I do draw a card for everybody in my chat room. The chat room's slow. I draw more than one. So I am a dollar and a half a minute and uh, require a 15-minute minimum, which is only $22.50. Very reasonable. You feel like this reading resonates with you and would like some further in-depth applied directly to you, by all means, shoot me an email at that islandgirl2008 at gmail address, and we'll be happy to work something out. Okay, Aquarius, March 2017, your general reading. I will be getting out the uh, love readings and the financials this month. I apologize for not getting the love readings out last month. Aquarius. Hmm, beautiful. Very nice. Ooh, lovely. Okay, Aquarius. Well, the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles, and um, that is the overall energy, which is about family and inheritance and generational things, things being passed down, tangible things. The center of the reading is the Page of Cups, which with the Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups, hang on, and the Moon. Oh, I think there's this is very, very emotional. Um, this is the Page of Cups next to the Knight of Cups, um, Aquarius, and I just, I just really feel like, um, you all have got messages coming in about things from your past, you know, um, I feel like I feel like there could be a budding romance coming up and I feel like it's from somebody that you used to know uh, maybe it you know and this is exactly what's supposed to happen with Venus and retrograde to Aquarius is old lovers are supposed to start to come back um, throughout this time frame and that's exactly what I see here with the lovers the six of cup the uh, Knight of Cups as well as the Page of Cups. I mean, this is a message and then an action happening here. Um, I really feel like that there's going to be somebody's going to reach out um, again, you know, however they do it via social media or however. And I think you're going to find out something about this old lover that you didn't know. That's what the moon card is going to represent for us is a secret or it's just an unknown, something hidden, something that you're not aware of yet. I feel like it's going to change your perception with the ten of uh, with the wheel of fortune and we know that's a karma card too. And so now we've gotten to a karmic relationship, right? Um, that I and I'm sorry I can't give proper credit, but I heard somebody say that all of our relationships before, say, 30 are karmic past lives. These are faded people that you're supposed to, to be with. So, you know, if this is later on in life and this is bringing somebody back in, maybe we weren't done and now you've got the karma with the Wheel of Fortune here, the karma, to finish this up. I also, this could be um, with a person that is a Virgo. This is definitely the Virgo card. Um, so the person that you may be going back to deal with Aquarius is a Virgo. Um, there may be some travel involved with this, although it may not be travel as much as it is. You're going to find yourself having to bring two opposing forces together, um, in, you know, to make things move smoothly again. See, I still say with the Ten of Pentacles being the overall energy, that harkens to generational going back in time, something being passed down, you know, repeated. Um, I just feel like this is somebody that you used to know. 
and this person is coming back into your life Aquarius and you guys uh, are going to finish this karmic relationship and I know you want me to tell you how it's going to end don't you and I really think you know the last card was the chariot and so while I think to some degree you may have you know trying to figure out how to bring this together and move it forward once you do that you're going to be very very victorious I just caution you with Venus in retrograde not to make any big pronouncements until after it goes direct but it, it definitely is the time that, that it will bring back a past lover and I really think that's what's happening here Aquarius if this resonates if you all and you know go back and listen to this at the end of the month and as well and if this resonates with you by all means please leave me some feedback I'd love to hear from you um, I wouldn't you know definitely have fun go out enjoy reconnect you know it's a karmic relationship it's something that's supposed to happen uh, but don't make any firm commitments until Venus goes retrograde that's my advice for you for the month of March Aquarius so again if it resonates uh, leave me some feedback if it doesn't check out your rising and your moon sign I did have a very large group of signs that are moving traveling moving on moving jobs so again if this doesn't resonate at all then by all means check out your rising and your moon sign <clears throat> also I'd like to welcome to YouTube Deborah Crew King she is a life coach and she is somebody that can help you uh, figure out how to keep the uh, to break the same patterns that, that keep repeating over and over and drawing the same negative people into your life she is a woman that has answers and she is willing and ready to help you all again it's Deborah Crew King look her up on on YouTube also don't forget to check me out on on Facebook Saturday 12 uh, 10 30 Central Standard Time bye everybody I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day take care Aquarius and I will uh, get out the love readings and the financials this month. Take care. Bye-bye.